So, start out the stage. Hopefully you haven't lost as much health as I have. You get some quad hearts, which is very nice. So now you get your supernova. The supernova goes the full length of the screen and has four times the power of a yo-yo. Two times the power of a shooting star. This is a key weapon. So right now we have 16 hearts all together. I have 12 that are filled. Okay, pick up the blasters. Got some more quad hearts, so I'm at full health. This isn't like Zelda where if you get full health there's a beam sword or anything, it's just you have full health. Okay, crack open this wall right here. You get to pick up a medicine. Quite handy if you haven't realized already. And if you haven't, where have you been? Oh! I hate these guys. These are probably the most difficult level... Well, this one is probably the most difficult level in the game. So be on your game. A lot of jumping, a lot of firing. By the way, these little green things that are moving about, these things that track around, they look like pipeliners or whatever, they only attack if they see you. Sometimes they miss you and attack a space next to you, but it's pretty easy to kill them. Now these little ball thingies pop out in sequence from that little tunnel. Don't go in the tunnel or you'll die. It's basically like drowning. Ah, oh my gosh. Your shooting star can't reach that, of course. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't expect to use some medicine this soon. Okay, just walk straight forward and go through the portal. Okay, here's what I'm talking about, these little tracker guys. See the one on the left just missed me by a space. Inaccurate thing. Okay, once they're gone, go over here and you'll see these little flying things that look like they're out of Star Wars. Waste them. crack open that wall and get the super the super blaster super blaster is awesome but I'm gonna save them okay now you gotta waste this guy and you can pick up some vitamin X as a reward very cool careful of these stupid things <sighs> see I wasn't careful enough and a blaster for you. Careful, there's electrical currents that run through the stage. So don't be too hasty with your movements. They deal a lot of damage too. As well as this room has electrical currents. Which gives you an unfair disadvantage against those guys. Alright. Okay, now here's where I'm going to demonstrate the Super Blaster. This is actually really awesome. So you can take the Super Blaster, and you can actually hit them when you're on the side of them. So this is a big jetpack jumper. Pretty easy if you know how to beat them. I didn't even use 20 Super Blaster shots. Okay, that cave that you saw before, it has nothing in it. I don't know why it's there. Okay, you pick up the blasters, even though I have full capacity. Now you get to pick up some more Super Blaster to replenish the ones you've lost. Get rid of this guy. Make your way over here. Look out, more red spaceship thingies. No electrical currents. Don't fall in those right there, that is bad. Instant death. There's only one that does not result in instant death, which I will point out next chapter. Now these are horrible. The worst. They deal the most damage out of any enemy in the game. They are heated tiles. So trace around and predict their movement. 
I know it's really hard to do that, but I suggest doing it. Okay, now this is... What's his face? Uh, um, Asteroid. So bring up that button. Keep pushing him back with the Super Blaster until you run out. You want to push him back all the way into that hole. Alright. A lot of quick firing, rapid fire, and you got him. Try to keep the medicine for that bot, uh, for that monster, though. Okay, now we're going to make our way to the second cube, the blue cube. In order to do that, we have to go through a maze. I may get this wrong, but I think I remember. So follow this path. And, sorry, go through this one that's in this winding path right here. Follow it back down and over here. Alright, that's correct. Take the upper path. Trace that around to the corner of the room. And around to this staircase. Go into the obvious staircase. And congratulations, you're on the other side. So now I get to pick up the blue cube, which gives you another effect. Your entire life bar is filled. Just like that. The equivalent of five or six big hearts. Depending on how many big hearts you picked up. So there you go, your life is fully increased. Everything is ready. And now, a big uh-oh, as the ship takes flight. Alright. Well, that's pretty much the end of Chapter 7, so we'll wrap this up next time with Chapter 8, The Final Battle.